Hey everyone, how y'all doing today and welcome back to another meta guide. So we are in the Open Ultra League and I didn't think many things would change, but we actually have some changes, which is pretty cool. So uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about it. So the Master League as well as the Psychic Cup begin tomorrow. Let me know which one you're playing. Do you have the resources for the Master League? If not, you might go ahead and go jump into the Psychic Cup. Uh, but yeah, let's begin. So for the S rank, some familiar faces. We do have Zygarde Complete. Now, my Zygarde Complete, I do have the Rare Candy XL to dump into it if I chose to. But I'm keeping mine for the Ultra League because you never know if they bring out another Zygarde for Legends ZA when that releases. It's a main series game focusing on Zygarde for the Nintendo Switch. If Pokemon Go wants to do an event with that, they might release more Zygarde. I want to get a better one. So that's why I am keeping mine for the Ultra League. But it's a super powerhouse. Really, really strong. Um, and you need a lot of resources for it. Because you need 250 cells to get the complete form. And then hopefully you have a good one. Um, and then the Rare Candy XLs to dump into it. But yeah, it's really good. It's a really strong Pokemon. It always has been. And... I believe it always will be, but what do you want? What move set? Well, I've, whenever I've battled it, usually it's, uh, well, Dragon Tail, of course, is the fast move, and then it's Outrage, actually, as well as Earthquake uh, over Crunch. So, I guess that's the moves that you want to go for. Uh, the next Pokemon we have is Palkia Origin, super powerful ever since they released it during the Sinnoh Tour. Dragon Breath, Spatial Rend is so strong. Uh, Aqua Tail, just such a great Pokemon, one of the best. And then we have Evelto, but Evelto has Sucker Punch. Oh man, are you talking really, really good Pokemon? This is ranked 3 according to pvpokey.com or pvpoke. Uh, definitely, definitely a strong pick because Sucker Punch is a counter clone from previous seasons, essentially. Except it's a different type, of course. It's not a fighting type move, but it's so powerful. I mean, Evelto is going to be so strong, and it's unfortunate, really, because I have the XLs, but I have 298s, but they're 14 attack. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm trying to get a better one. I'm lucky trading. I really want to use this for the Mass League. Then we have Sogaleo. Sogaleo is really good. Uh, Fire Spin. Technically, it was buffed, actually, this season, so it's even better than it was. Um, but Psychic Fangs to debuff, really powerful Pokemon. Uh, really strong, really, really good. The only thing is you kind of want a good one, which you could get. I mean, you could, could Lucky trade for it. Uh, I never got Lucky <laughs> with a good one yet, unfortunately. Uh, but it does need Rare Candy XLs. Um, so, a uh, bit expensive, but at the end of the day, everything is expensive because this is the Master League. And you need level 50 Pokemon. And then we have Necrozma Dusk Mane, so really strong Pokemon with that Shadow Claw damage. Shadow Claw is not nerfed, so these Necrozma forms are going to be really good. Probably one of the reasons they didn't nerf Shadow Claw because Necrozma just came out, right? So, um, not, uh, I mean, during Go Fest. So they don't want to nerf it just yet. They want more people to use it. Makes sense. Then we have Viperia on the top of the list. You better believe it, it has Mud Slap. And Mud Slap did receive a boost. It's going to get to that Breaking Swipe even faster, which is a great bait, bait move. And then it has Rock Wrecker. Now I have a Hundo Rhyhorn. I have a Hundo Rhyhorn. Almost enough XLs to max it to level 50. Do I go ahead and just evolve it and Elite TM Rock Wrecker? Or do I go ahead and wait for the Community Day Classic that's probably going to happen at some point? I'm not going to do it just yet, but I'm really tempted to, to go ahead and, and build it. And then we have Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh with the incinerate damage. Oh, man. Super bulky. Super strong. And then we have Dialga Origin. Uh, yeah, really great Pokemon. The regular Dialga is great as well. I actually didn't put it on this list. It's 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 further down, but it's still a really good Pokemon. Um, okay, and then moving on to the A rank. We actually have Florges. I don't know if I ranked Florges a little bit too high in the Open Master League. Definitely in the Master Premier, but in the Open Master League, maybe it's a little bit too high. But it is really good. It is a really good... Uh, Fairy type with Fairy Wind did receive that boost. Then it has Moonblast, it has Disarming Voice. I think it has Psychic as well. But yeah, if you're looking for a strong Fairy type, it actually is a really strong one. Uh, especially doing well against, I mean, Evelto, it's super effective damage, right? Which I think is going to be a big threat this season. The Elga Origin, all the Dragon types. So yeah, I mean, that's probably why I ranked it too high or super high. Um, but it does it does deserve it, I would say. And then we have Kirim. Uh, so Kirim. Uh, eventually we'll get black and white Kirim, which I assume will be will absolutely dominate. But um, Kirim with the Glaciate, absolutely love to see it because it does debuff your opponent and it has Dragon Breath. So it's actually a really good Pokemon. Then we have Dawn Wings Necrozma. So Dawn Wings Necrozma, in my opinion, not as good as Dusk Mane. It does take double super effective damage uh, from like the Shadow Claws being the typing it is. Um, so yeah, I mean it's double weak. 
to like dark attacks, right? But um, still, it's not a bad Pokemon at all. Then we have Landorus. Landorus is not S rank anymore. It's still a really good one, but Mudshot was nerfed, taking a little bit more time to reach. Uh, it's like Scorching Sands or Stone Edge, but it's still a good Pokemon. Uh, and it's still guaranteed to debuff your opponent, but it does affect it. It's just it's still really good, though. Um, and then we have the regular Palkia. In my opinion, I would run the Origin form, but if you don't have the Origin form, the regular one uh, is good as well. And then we have Giratina Altered. Super tanky Pokemon, really good. A couple other fairy types that I think are really good. Xerneas, not I think really good, they are really good. Xerneas, um, and also have play against Steel types, right? Because it has close combat. Um, and Geomancy made this Pokemon fantastic, so, uh, and then we have Zacian, of course, Zacian. Snarl or Quick Attack, I mean, I used to see Quick Attack ever since Necrozma, the Necrozma forms came out, I've been seeing more Snarl, Zacian, probably to do super effective damage towards them, so you could go either move you want, but, um, you know, it does, it also has, it, I mean, it has, um, a fighting type, charge attack, it has close combat as well, so you can hit super effective towards steel types. Um, and it also has Play Rough, which is usually the moves that I see. I like Wild Charge, uh, but it has, uh, all of those moves are generally good. Moving on to the B-Rank, Glory and Moltres. Oh, man, do you have a good one? Uh, I only have one. I had two. I traded one. I, I kind of regret it only because this Pokemon is good for all three leagues, so I only have one good one, good one for the Great League. The stats of my other one were not good either. If I kept it, I would have built it for the Ultra League, though, um, and then... The Master League, yeah, I would have to wait to get... Maybe not a perfect... Obviously not a perfect, but I, I want a better one. But yeah, so anyway, it has Sucker Punch, of course. Sucker Punch is a great move this season, uh, which is absolutely incredible. And then it has Ancient Power, Brave Bird. It's it's going to be a good Pokemon. Uh, and then we have Dragonite as another Dragon type. I think there's better Dragon types, like Palkia and Dialga, but still, uh, you still see this one. And then we have Marshadow. So Marshadow used to use Counter, but Counter was nerfed, of course. It also has Sucker Punch. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! So sucker punch, let's go. Um, are you gonna Are you gonna try Marsh Shadow? Unfortunately, Marsh Marsh Shadow's IVs are awful. Now you only get one. I guess the shiny will be released eventually. Uh, who knows? Maybe they'll release more Marsh Shadow. I highly doubt it. Um, to try and get a better one, but I don't. I mean, I have the rare candy XL. I just don't want to dump it into a bad IV one. I wish you could lucky trade it. Uh, and then we have Mewtwo. Mewtwo is going to be hard to run with all the Sucker Punch users. Uh, and then Necrozma forms as well. So I feel like Mewtwo's lost uh, a lot of play. Uh, probably should be in the other options, to be completely honest. But it's still dishing out a lot of damage as well. Then we have Lugia. Lugia, of course, Sky Attack was nerfed. Still a good Pokemon. Still tanky. But again, going to be weak to those uh, Necrozma forms. Because of the super effective Shadow Claws and things like that. Give it to you an origin. Another really strong Pokemon, another Pokemon that does well against Lugia and Mewtwo, right? And then we have Primarina as a Charm user. Definitely the best Charm user. It has Hydro Cannon now. Absolutely incredible. And then the other options, we have Meloetta. So Meloetta was at a Go Fest a few years ago, whenever, whichever Go Fest it was. Really, really good stuff. Um, really strong Pokemon uh, for sure. Well, really tanky Pokemon. Uh, so if you got a good one... You were able to uh, get enough XLs, maybe dump Rare Candy XLs into it. You could use it, but keep in mind, the Univitoid is going to be coming up in February. It's possible they release more Meloetta, right? Maybe even Shiny Meloetta, which has never been released in the main series at all. So that would be crazy if they released Shiny Meloetta. But if they did, you could get uh, maybe a better one if you didn't get a good one. So I'd probably hold off if you don't have a good one. But if you have a good one, you could dump Rare Candy XLs into it. It's it's not overpowered. It's, it's okay just because of its tankiness uh so probably not worth it but i i know i've battled uh, a couple of the a couple of these here and there shout out to for the battles i battled her uh this was a master league classic she used meloetta and i didn't know what to do against it i i got i don't know if i got swept by it but it definitely took out a good she safe swapped it that's all i remember and then it, it, i didn't really know how to play that and um uh, but it, it did well against the team i was using at the time um, and then we have Reshiram. Reshiram, another Dragon-type user. Same with Zekrom. Um, oh, Tapu Lele. So Tapu Lele does have Astonish. So actually going to be relatively decent, which is crazy. I have 398 Tapu Lele. I don't even know how I... I think I got back-to-back -back 98s, which is crazy. And I was like, I'm never going to use this one. But no, now it rec the recommended moveset is Astonish, Moonblast, and it has another Fairy move. I can't remember. I so double Fairy Charge Attacks. I can't remember the other Fairy Charge Attack. Uh, but Astonish, definitely a really strong move. So, uh, yeah, I mean, 
I could definitely see this being used. The only issue that this suffers from is this all those Sucker Punch users, you'll definitely see the Evelto. You might not see Moltres and Marshadow a lot, because if you see Moltres, people have to get one, and they probably want to get a good one, or at least a decent one. Uh, and then they would have to... Well, no, I guess Moltres, you would use the regular Moltres um, XL. So you could have enough to max yours out. But then Marshadow, you would have to dump Rare Candy XLs into, which you could do. Uh, but then do you have a good one? So I don't think those will be super common. Uh, you might see him here or there, but the Evolto definitely will be. That's where Lele suffers. And then we have Groudon. So Groudon, of course, the Mudshot was nerfed. You could go with Dragon Tail for sure. Zygarde, uh, not Zygarde, uh, Zerud, Zerud, Dark, Grass type. So definitely the best uh, Grass type in the meta if you want to go uh, Grass type. We do have Heatran. We have the new Dracapult, which could be pretty good. It has Astonish. But do you have the Rare Candy XLs for it? I don't. I don't think it's worth dumping into because you know Dreepy is going to get a community day eventually. Now I know it's going to be years from now, but eventually it's going to get a community day. Um, so I personally don't think it's worth dumping the Rare Candy XLs into. Um, but even if you got a hundo, I would wait for the community day because it's not like it's overpowered. It's not going to give you an advantage or anything because it's going to lose to other dragon types just because it's running Astonish, right? So like, like you'll, you'll still be taking a lot from like Dragon Breath or Dragon Tail. Um, and then Metagross, Metagross uh, being a good steel type, uh, Kyogre, Kyogre was technically nerfed this season, right, because Surf is taking longer to reach, although it is doing more damage, and then Togekiss as another charm user, and then we have Hasui and Avalog, which is really tanky, and has Icy, which is pretty cool, really good, uh, okay, moving on to the solid team options, so first up, I've battled, oh, I've seen, yeah, I've battled, I've seen this team for the past couple of seasons, Landorus, Palkia Origin, and Dialga Origin. I still think it could work well. I've seen this team ABA, so like Palkia in the lead and Landorus and Dialga in the back. You could go that route as well. Uh, even though Landorus was nerfed, I still think this is a good team because I still think Landorus is a good Pokemon. Next up, we have Ho-Oh with Double Fairy. Now, obviously, you could re replace one of the fairies if you want to with Primarina. I feel like the Xerneas and Zacian have... Good play, I guess, again, against Steel types if you happen to run into them um, because they have close combat. Um, if you want to go Wild Charge, you can for the Ho-Oh on the Zacian. I like Wild Charge. I like that move set. Wild Charge and then, you know, you, you don't need, you could go close combat. You maybe don't need close combat because you have you have the close combat on the uh uh, Zerni, uh, Zernius, right? And then you also have the fire damage for steel types. Um, I've, as I've been seeing, I think I mentioned it earlier, more Snarl uh, with Zacian just to help out against like the Necrozma forms. So you could go that route or you can go Quick Attack. Next up, I w I'm just curious how this team worked. I have the double Dark Flying types in the back, double Sucker Punch users. Obviously, they're going to be awful against Fairy types. Uh, but you do have a steel type in the lead with that exclusive sun steel strike is that the name of it i always forget the names i always get them mixed up um obviously going to ko any of that but see how that team works and then we have riparia on the next team with palkia origin and then primarina as a charm user or as a fairy type you could go with another fairy type if you want to like xerneas is asian next up we have double dragon palkia origin and zygarde complete if you don't have the zygarde you could go with another dragon um maybe kirim that could be pretty cool um, and then Ho-Oh in the lead. Kyogre, I, I have seen a Kyogre, well, I've seen Kyogre Double Fairy. Uh, I think I've also seen Kyogre Double Dragon as well. I didn't put Kyogre on these teams because, uh, it was nerfed, but still, I mean, I still think it's gonna be good. Um, well, okay, I think, I think it's gonna be okay, despite the nerf, just because of how bulky it is. Uh, and then next up, I have ABA Fairy, so Primarina in the lead, obviously you could go with another Fairy type, like Florges or Xerneas, uh, and then Zacian. Uh, in the back and Diago Origin in the back because I, this is gonna uh, listen as long as you don't run into a hard counter in the lead you're looking really good right if you win the lead you're looking really good and I think ABA Fairy is going to do well uh, whether it be Primarina or whether you do uh, another Fairy type uh, I need Zacian I need the XLs and I need a good one so I'm looking forward to it, it returning but anyway that's gonna be the Open Master League for you let me know will you be playing the Master League or will you be playing the Psychic Cup and I'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching bye